Isn't it wonderful to be back in Los Angeles? Don't you just love LA? It is so wonderful to be back with so many friends. And it is so wonderful to celebrate our party and California all at the same time and in the same room. And so much has happened since we were last together. In fact, where do we start? Let's just start by recognizing what an incredibly important year we had on civil rights. Some historic gains and some tough losses. In our celebration of civil rights, I was proud to conduct the first marriage in California immediately after the Supreme Court's historic ruling on marriage equality. And as everyone here knows, so goes California, so goes the rest of the nation. So California Democrats, let us be proud that the Attorney General of the United States recently encouraged the 50 state attorneys general don't defend marriage laws that clearly discriminate. It has also been a time of important milestones. So many 50th anniversaries, the War on Poverty, the Civil Rights Act, the March on Washington, and Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s great call to our collective conscience. I have a dream that we will make it to the promised land. Dr. King understood there's a difference, a difference between having a dream and being asleep. <laughs> he understood that we have to be awake to achieve the dream. We have to be awake and conscious and active. And California Democrats, I am here to say this morning, we have to be awake now more than ever. Because we are seeing that in the last year, there have been some ominous signs. Just days before the anniversary of the March on Washington, we saw the United States Supreme Court strike down the heart of the Voting Rights Act. And in the aftermath of this ruling, we witnessed a systematic assault on the right to vote, sweeping state after state like a cold front. And last year, we saw 22 states put new laws on the books, blocking a woman's constitutional right to protect, protect her productive and reproductive freedom. We need to be awake. And in this same time period, we've seen something equally disturbing. We've seen a coordinated attack on our middle class, on our working men and women. We've seen a state-by-state -state campaign to blame our nurses, our police officers, our classroom teachers, campaigns to undercut the very principle of collective bargaining that has delivered for families in countless ways, including the eight-hour workday and weekends. We need to be awake. So California Democrats, we know where we need to focus, where we need to be conscious, and where we need to be active. Let's wake up our neighbors, our families, and our communities, because we know so goes California, so goes the rest of the nation. Let's be proud. We Californians and we California Democrats aren't about playing the waiting game. Let's be proud. Under the leadership of the great Jerry Brown, we didn't wait on Washington to do the right thing by our immigrant communities. Instead, we, everyone in this room, helped pass 
the California Dream Act, giving every hardworking student an opportunity to succeed, an opportunity to live the American dream. Let's be proud that here in California, we didn't wait. We said immigrants deserve the dignity of a California driver's license. Here in California, we are expanding, not shrinking, the franchise. A million new voters on the rolls with online registration. This is exactly what the rest of the country needs to be doing. And we did it right here. And California Democrats, we didn't wait when it comes to helping our middle class. We passed the Homeowner Bill of Rights, a model the whole country should be following. And let's be proud, Democrats. We stopped cuts to our public schools and saved the greatest public university system in the world. And Democrats, as we go forward, let's not just be proud. Let us stay awake. As everyone in this room knows, we can't go on being number one in incarceration and near the bottom in school funding. We all know we need to close the deepening income divide. California has got to be the golden state for everyone. And as I fly up and down our state, I've seen the bathtub rings lining our reservoirs, rings that mark where the water used to be. Our future is calling us. We need to answer the call on climate change. We need to wake up to the millions of families right here in California, living a second-class existence while laboring in the hardest jobs. That's not who we are. That's not what America is about. We cannot wait another year. It is time now for comprehensive immigration reform. You know, when I was at the celebration for the March on Washington, I couldn't help but think of my mother, Shamala Harris, and uh, the story that she used to tell about when and how she came to this country. She came to Berkeley from India on a student visa at the age of 18. And when she finished her studies, she faced a profound choice. You see, she was supposed to go back home to an arranged marriage, a tradition in our family spanning back literally thousands of years. But she had a different dream, and she chose instead a love marriage right here in California. And that act of self-determination made me and it made my sister Maya. And for me, it has always summarized what it means to live your dreams. My mother was a committed activist for civil rights and the rights of women. Uh, my sister and I, in fact, we like to say that we had a stroller's eye view of the civil rights movement. And in fact, we often joke that we grew up surrounded by a bunch of adults who spent full time marching and shouting marching and shouting for this thing we call justice. So California Democrats, I would say, the march goes on today. The march for justice, the march for freedom, the march for equality. And I know we are up to the call. We will stay awake. We will live the dream. And we will fight for it each and every day.
Thank you. Yeah, we go back.